Upon review of our investigation, separation was concluded due to the violation of company policy. We wish you the best of luck. He said, I'm going to send you a picture of this person. I just want you to confirm that it is or is not Seth. And what he sent me was a fucking screenshot from one of your YouTube videos. Was it a video of me? I didn't have any but, videos at Sprouts. What was the video? No, it was, you were just, you were just sitting in a room. You looked like you were uh, sitting, it was, there was like nothing in the background, like a white wall or something. And uh, you were just wearing your, like a blue shirt and your suspenders. Okay. He showed you that picture from my YouTube video to confirm that it was me. Yeah. Wow, bro. And I mean, I was like, yes, this is Seth. And that's, that's it. He said, I only want you to tell me, is this him or is this not him? So that was the investigation. You confirmed that I'm the guy in the YouTube video, and then I got fired. From what? The only reason I knew it was a YouTube video is because I knew that it was one of your YouTube videos. <laughs> just because I've seen it. The picture that he sent me was a screenshot of a YouTube video. Okay. But and, and, I don't know which one. And do you think it's a little weird, just from your experience in the out in the world, that... You know, literally for months as we're waiting for this inspection to come and I'm trying to get us ready and Karen is literally undoing the things. Including, remember that time that they uh, crossed off the seven-day date on a thing of uh, uh, pesto and wrote a 40-day date on it? That was great. Remember that? Yeah, that was, uh, that actually had, I think, Darla's involvement. Yeah, I caught, because I reached out to Darla and said... They, they, first of all, writing it in pen, crossing off a date dot and writing 40 day ex expiration date is a fail right there. I involved Darla because everyone took the side of, hey, it's 40 days, even though it was clearly seven. You should know that I took three breaks in September. The entire month of September, I took three breaks. And one of them was a lunch that I had to do to make up for working overtime. I care about this department and I work my butt off, but I can't keep doing her job when it's as simple as putting dates on products when it comes in the sh 2020 sure has been a tough year. And the concerns that are presented to us, so um, obviously if we have anything uh, that are, you know, concerns in the store reported, those are sent up uh, appropriately. Uh, and I'll be very, you know, very transparent with you, sir. That Here's the Buffalo style that just came in. Here's the Buffalo style that came in last month. Which one do you think they're going to use first? Uh, I don't know. I wish I knew. What's that? What's that? I don't know what's going on. They won't tell me why I was fired. So you didn't talk to Zach or Kit? Kit said he didn't know. And Zach said I was fired for violating company policy. Huh? Okay, what company policy? Are you, have, are you recording me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't you if you were me? I was suspended 13 days ago and no one's told me why. No one's told me why I was fired. They specifically said that I'm supposed to ask you. Doing? HR said I'm supposed to ask you. I'm not gonna talk to you if I'm doing this for you. Fine. You know I'm just gonna end up on YouTube. Huh. Stop. Okay. So why was I fired? Violation of code of conduct. What? Code of conduct? Sprouts code of conduct. What did I do? You I, I was obviously gone, yes. so you're going to have to talk to Zach. Um, Zach? Zach the bottom, yeah. He won't tell me. <laughs> I mean, you're going to have to take that up with him. I have a hard time. I've known Zach for many years. I have a hard time believing that he won't tell you. Would you like me to show you the email he sent me this morning before he went on vacation? Saying he went I was on vacation. He's taking some days off. He works a lot. Okay. <laughs> He won't tell me why I'm fired. I need to put down in the unemployment. They have to say the reason, and I don't know the reason. What's the code of conduct? What, but what was the code of conduct? I don't want to talk about it. Okay, well, tell me over here. I, again, I, I wasn't here, so I'm not going to try to speak to... I'm not going to try to speak to, you know, what happened, because... What? I don't know what happened. 
Well, you're you're gonna have to talk to Zach about it because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm on Zach's side in terms of I trust him, and so I don't I'm not gonna question you know what the decision that was made while I was gone. The decision was made by Zach. By the company, by Sprout. So even though it says used by the 15th, once we open it and we put a four day date dot on it, it's gonna go bad within a day and it's gonna smell horrible after two days and then after three days, they're gonna still be putting it on stuff to sell to people. So I throw it away and she keeps ordering it even though I told her, I left a box out for her so she could smell it. Before it was spoiled, according to the date dot, it smelled rancid. Hey, Karen, we barely use these. We can just take them off the shelf. No, she keeps ordering them every week. But, that, but if you have any questions about it, you need to reach out to Zach. I did. He said I was, and he won't give me the reason. I still, I don't know what happened. I wasn't given a chance to, I mean, what so happened? In, in, your, in your words, what happened? So I put this up so we could communicate, and I started putting these up to show people what's going wrong. Somebody put three packages of crab meat without labels next to one with labels. Turns out that was Karen. Somebody took all these out of the box and laid them there without labels. Turns out that was Karen. So I'm trying to get the people who work for us to comply with these things. And it turns out it's the department manager who's doing them. What, what led up to this? I, I mean, don't put, I mean, don't play stupid if you don't know anything. Yeah, I, I caught Karen relabeling shrimp that was expired and I tried to investigate it and next thing you know I was suspended. What really happened? Like, what happened? And see how you were doing. Your manager asked, my manager asked, sure. a, well, yeah. for what? For what purpose? Well, he said that you were making suicidal threats to him, so that's why we're uh, calling to see how you're doing. What? I haven't talked to my manager in weeks. What are you talking about? Who is this? This, this is Officer Vieira with the Blue Springs Police Department. What's your badge number? Is this a real call? Uh, this is. It's, uh, my badge number is 2204. So what, are you here? I, well, I'm outside your building, yeah. Okay, I'll, let me come out, I guess. Okay. I'm not armed. Everything's fine. Okay, okay. thank you. Yeah. Just need to talk, that's all. Yeah, coming right out. Alright, thank you. Bye-bye. Yep. What the fuck now, dude? Hi. Just got my keys in my phone. I'm sorry? I just have my keys in my phone. Okay. Hey, like I said, I just wanted to talk to you. Okay. That's it. Just to see how you're doing. Fine. Okay. What would my manager have said? I haven't talked to him in weeks. He didn't actually, or I'm sorry, the notes in our call didn't actually specifically say what you might have said. It said that you have made, you made suicidal statements to him. I haven't talked to him in weeks. Okay. Like okay. literally, did he, would he, did he say it was in person? Like I haven't spoken to my manager. It, it, it didn't say, it okay. just said that. Why would you, my manager say that? I haven't said, I literally haven't spoken to him in weeks. Okay, do you, do you work at, at Sprouts? I do work at Sprouts. Okay, okay. I'm just making sure so we got the right guy. So this wasn't my manager? It is, that's, that's, that's why I asked if you worked at Sprouts because. Or did Sprouts send you? Sprouts didn't specifically send us. The manager, uh, your manager, Kit. Oh, my manager from my store, not my manager from my apartment. Correct. Oh, you made it sound like it was my. Yeah. Uh, I apologize. No, just. He said I made I made what kind? I did what now? Suicidal statements. To Are him. You... I, I. That's what I'm assuming. Okay. Are you wanting to hurt yourself? I am not. Okay. And everything's fine. Everything's I can't help fantastic. you. Everything's fantastic. No, unless okay. you have a loan, like a loan? You give me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, if, if I could do that, I'd help you out. But unfortunately, it's just not. Okay. Not well, in the cards for me. Do you need me to sign something saying I'm hunky-dory no, or? No, sir. Like I said, I just want to talk to you, make sure you're good. Nothing I can't help you out with. And 
If there's nothing I can do to help did you out, Did he send you here today? Was the call made this yes, morning? Sir. Yes, sir. When did he say I made the threat? It, it didn't say. All it said is you made suicidal statements, statements to him. To him? That's that's what it said. I mean, the, can you show me the... Do you have a printout? Can you give me a printout of uh, your call? I don't have a printout, no. It said that Kit said I made suicidal statements to him. Yep. Specifically to him. Okay. I just want to... He's trying to get me fired because... So that solves that problem. That's I can fine. follow FIM if you're, because you said just so if it's every other day, that's fine. Then I put them and I just do double every other day. So you'll, they won't scan it that day that you don't do it, but that that's fine. Like, I think it'll work out to where we're, we're still compliant. It'll, it'll start recognizing. And we'll still have different days out there. Like the only problem with now is when we produce, we produce everything in one day no, or no, two no. days or no, whatever. No, 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 I've been doing, I stagger it intentionally because Karen okay. said in the beginning, I want multiple days. Here's the problem. When I come in, Every single day, like today, 25th, underneath it, 23rd. Okay. Everything is upside down. They're just putting the new stuff on top of the old stuff so instead of rotating. When that happens, I bring it to my attention so okay. I can come and handle it right down. Like yeah. Well, I mean, it's... I when don't, I get here in the morning, just come and say, hey, like... But it's, it's, it's the night... Look at this so I can see what, what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. It's the night people, and right. I think it's the day people. I don't think well, anyone's I don't, rotating. I don't think, to tell you the truth, they have time at night to put anything else out there. Like, I don't see well, that's why I, I, I gotta, I gotta be honest with you. The, the vibe I've gotten from Tony, from ever since Ice T came in, that was yeah. like the breaking point for her. Right. Anything that's extra work, she's not gonna do. I know. Like I she's know. done. I know. So yeah. I can't say please rotate. She doesn't give a fuck. I know. She she's does. gonna come out. She's gonna put the new ones on top like of the old ones. She is doing the spot check. I give her that. Like she's doing that part of it. But here's the thing. Can I do the spot check at night? Um. Because that would solve. Here, here's here's what I want to do. My four days, yeah. I do the spot check at, at like in before she gets there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, that's certainly yeah. in exchange for her rotating on my days off. Like I give that to her. Like, hey, I got four of your spot checks. I'm gonna take them from you, yeah. but I need you to focus well, on this. Yeah, when we're doing spot check, we're supposed to be rotating. Like, no, it's, not, that's, that's nobody rotates. I've watched them. Everybody. They I just know it, takes a, it takes a long time. But that, but it's not like 50% of the things are backwards. They're most right. all backwards. And it's Which, all production items. So exactly. Exact, I can't take responsibility if I'm making the right amount, but we're not, but we, but the old ones are underneath. So, I mean, That's true, that's the man but we got one more problem tonight. That shrimp yeah. that I brought into the office when we were having the, yeah. it got relabeled on Monday as brand new shrimp. You brought it to me yesterday and said, that wasn't new shrimp, like you can verify with uh, DC. But nope. DC opened a new box. Like it was, it was different, like it got fish. It did gone. It, it got picked? Yeah, it was gone. Karen sure. told you it got thrown away? I'm pretty sure it was She it told out. me it got made into seafood salad. No. And, wait, wait, wait. Uh, and Cindy told me it got made into in the regular salad. They, everyone's got a different story, yeah, like and I'm that. telling you right now, it's oh. the same fucking shrimp because, you know how I know? Oh. Because it was a double bath. Remember, there was already yeah. a bath there. Right. Karen took out another bath. So why would, on Monday, somebody also take out a double batch of the exact same thing both of them had, the, the shrimp bag was open and been used a little bit. Well, she said there was this, the, the difference was the shrimp, the one that was shrimp wrapped was there. Like it wasn't with that stuff, like there was one in there that was, like somebody had shrimp wrapped it extensively. Yeah, and that got put into a bag, yeah. but I still recognize how full it was because uh, it's the same shrimp. And if she instructed the staff to take three day old shrimp and label it as if it had just came out of the yeah, freezer. I don't think she did, but she brought, when she brought it to me, she said that's not the same shrimp. But it is. I, I, I will. I'm, I guarantee you it's the same shit. Why we didn't get just get rid of it? Well, that's on Monday. It should have been thrown away. Yeah. And but it didn't get. Now she didn't tell me. If she told me it got pitched, I would have had. I can't argue that. Yeah. No. She I don't, told I don't, me it got made in this in the seafood salad, and there's no seafood salad. Like you can we, look at the. Yeah, I don't think we made it. Like, then why did she tell me she yeah, made it? I don't know that. And why did why did the, another member of the staff said that then something else was made, and just now DC tried to say she she's covering Karen good yeah, for her right. she said I think I, I think I made seafood salad on Saturday okay now it's a five-day date so that should have meant there would have been something left over today to throw there's yeah, no, no seafood salad anymore. I know like I don't I don't believe that no it was like we can go back and look at the transactions on the on that's the what I need I to do because I'm you're, like I'm like everything else yeah is is there's frustration this is a yeah, I know. It is. <laughs> like it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be that way. It should not be that. And way. I mean, remember the whole point was that the the, the shrimp. There were six cases of shrimp. Yeah, exactly. Now there's seven. <laughs> she's no, still no, on. That was, no, what or is that was, coming in? So she's 
ordering 6.20, but they're sending her the small ones. And I told her to, to dig into that and find out what's going on. Like, Are they next to each other in the scan sheet? in the order guide. Like, I think this... Well, not on Harvest. You can't do it that way on Harvest. Okay. Like, it's a, a computer thing. No, but the little ones don't come in on Harvest, do they? Yeah. Oh, they do? Harvest, yeah. Like, it's... Uh, so okay. there's see certain seafood that comes in from Harvest. Okay. Uh, but she needed to go and call them and say, like, why am I getting the shrimp still? Like, <laughs> Please don't, stop. We don't need that. need to get it if we don't need it. She's ordering the 1620 because that's what she needs. Yeah, yeah. No, I know that. So instead, we're borrowing that from me. Like, it's instead of like dig, digging into it after the fifth one came in, you should have been like, hey, like that's, yeah. there's a mistake somewhere along the line. Yeah. Like, somewhere in the communication there, either I've got the wrong item code in the computer or it's skewed wrong at the warehouse, whatever. Like, if you don't dig into it, then you're never going to get it right. Yeah. I mean, and, and all that produce, none of that had to go bad. Yeah, like, I, I don't understand she, why. So she needs to back off of her three books on that. It's twice a week. Well, it's nothing bad. She put the new stuff in front of the old stuff. So the old, yeah. there was a, the bag is up to 23rd. Was and used on my day off. Her. Like, she might, she probably, that doesn't even sound like something she would do. She probably put it on something else. Maybe. She probably, but, okay, put, but that, how do, put that over there. But, but the, knowing that it keeps happening, why wouldn't right. you tell the person rotate it? Or leave it for me. Today it was left for me, and that's fine. Exactly. That's how I found, that's how I pulled all that shit. Right. Because I, I had to put it, I'm not putting stuff in until I pull everything from the back. I think the, the problem is, is we're not getting stuff put up. We're not getting it put up when the truck comes in. Like, it's done. Like, we're struggling over there because, for one, like, we don't have labor hours over there. Labor hours are gone. Like they're not going to come back to play. <laughs> like they even admitted on the call this morning, Dan Kirchie, the VP of the region. Like he's like, you guys are doing a phenomenal job on the hours that we've given you. This is the lowest amount of hours we've ever had in the store. So we've, that, we've lost a th uh, like 1,300 hours inside the store over the last two, three months. Like it's, you know, oh it's, my, it's, it's trouble. How am I going to expect? Like, you can't do that with just DC and Tony. Like, they're not going to do it. No. Like Tony's going to do, like you said, the minimum. Yep. She has Tony got mad at me. I went up. She was doing. She was checking the the dates, and I'm and I, I took the list because I the day that PCR came, I had gone through every date. Right. And I told her, I said, you you can take a few days off on this yeah. because everything that's going to expire is on this list. And she got mad. She's like, my job keeps changing. I'm like, I just gave you less work to do. What kind of thing? They're just they're just all frustrated. I know they are because they don't they they're spinning in circles. Yeah. They and I'm trying to fix it, but. I swear to God, if Karen told them to regate shrimp. I don't think she did, because she can't. She brought it to me first thing. She came to me too. She was like, hey, like. But it's the it's, same. Like she goes, Seth Epps is the same shrimp we're using for the season salad. And I'm, or the craft from season salad and the shrimp or whatever they make out of that. But like, I'm like, didn't that get thrown away? And she didn't respond to that, but she did say DC pulled another box or whoever it was, she said. Like another box got pulled. He should know that it wasn't it. Like, I don't know, like, I quit listening at that point. Yeah, but like, here, I had to hear it three times yesterday, like. But doesn't that sound a little weird that she is preemptively coming to you yeah, to I didn't tell you about, about seafood? Like, I didn't that, know. Like it, why would she? I don't She care. knows goddamn what she, that I got her, dude. She fucking did it. I don't, um, well, there's no way to ever prove it. Yeah, you, know, you can prove what, it. Print out the seafood, because she said, true. Here, here's, what, here's what I would do. And I'm willing to drop it if you say drop it. But especially with Cindy here, get Cindy. Bring Cindy into the yeah. office right now, write up what happened with the seafood, yeah. and then get everyone's story written down separately, yeah. and then just run, did we sell, if they all say we made seafood salad and we didn't sell any seafood salad in the past four days, yeah. then you know they're lying. They didn't make it. That was the shrimp. I threw it away. No, 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 I the threw it away. Like no, I threw the shrimp away on PCR day, mm -hmm. but that shrimp was five days old. Right. That was all the shrimp. They so never it was touched made before it. That you said, like it was, they she made told me that they made seafood salad, and it had to be either Saturday or Sunday. She was off Sunday. DC was off Sunday. Oh, no way it got Sunday. made Sunday. Uh, so if it was made Saturday, today would be the day it was pulled. There is no sign of it. There's none left anywhere. There's not a, even a, you know how it goes on the shelf? Yeah, I don't on, there's it none made. of it. I don't it think got, it would be. So why did she tell me it got made? She told you it got thrown away. Somebody else told me it, it got made into something else. I threw it away. I asked her why we just go back there. Now, she knows she knows she told them to change the date, and they're covering for it. Because they know everyone's afraid now, like they keep them in the grind and they keep them busy. I'm I yeah, I'm done with it, but that scared the shit. I mean that to me, if if a staff is willing to do that, I can't trust any date in there. Like that's seafood. Like what if they're willing to do that with seafood, three day old seafood. Well what I need to do is we need to man so we need to man the 
So I need somebody in charge of the cart, so the production cart. So every night, whatever it might be, every day, whatever, whoever comes in, we see in the morning, like it needs to be all dated, like everything, we go through the whole thing. I've been doing that since Dated, since like, I okay, started. so what's on here that isn't dated? So then that's when you investigate those products, yeah. you know what well, I mean? Well, that was, and that morning, when yeah. I brought it into the office, yeah. It had been from the day before, and the other one was from two days before. Okay. I didn't date them. I put them right back where they were. Okay. And then when I came in on Monday, on Tuesday morning, they were all dated as if they came out the well, on Monday. Well, what, what's see, doing it, we're doing it every single day. That's, well, you won't be here every single no. day. That's the problem. No, but I can keep but track of it. You've got to realize, I have to track of it like we know. That's how that I know that that's day. the same stuff. Yeah, but, but you get the day before. Like it's, but I'm, I'm, I've been on it. That's why we didn't get, the only date was the one thing I missed. Everything on the, everything in the back room was up to date when she walked in. Okay. Because I was preparing for her to walk in for a month and a half. But we need I can't to fix it because that's the problem. We it's, need to, like, start at the, at, on the process of labeling and everything. Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, and like, it has she, to be labeled. She's the biggest offender. I know, and I, I she. So she, I can't fix it if, if the shaft. She's seat. trying to admit to it, but she she has trouble admitting the fact. She I, really does. Clearly, that's her. I mean, that's her issue. Man. Like I mean, is. come on. Well, okay. I can't trust everything she says, and I don't. Like I don't. That's my problem. In a uh, nutshell. If anybody's dealt with her, with him, right. the longest it's been. I know. I know. Like, feel for you. I mean, I've dealt with her for years, but I mean, I need direction because I can't keep. I think your direction is to keep doing what you're doing pulling the stuff right I, but keep your eye on stuff that is yeah, yeah. questionable yeah like i don't want you to throw it away but i do want you to bring it to my attention and he supports the manager who keeps serving spoiled food to people and I'm her, I'm her assistant so i'm trying to get her not to serve spoiled food to people hey look here's the new ham and there's the old ham which one do you think they're going to use first hey this one probably because it's on top and there's no date on it i'm not fixing it this time man I do it every week. I got too much to do to go through and fix everything that she does wrong every single day. But here's my favorite. But she's got something on him or something, so they did they did a whole thing to get me. I'm on suspension for the same reason that you're here. He called and suspended me from work last night. So it's a little okay. weird that he'd is, also is there, is then another boss or someone above him that you can talk to you about this issue? Well, yeah, they called me yesterday oh, and okay. told me I'm Perfect. on suspension, yeah. Okay. Well, I, I would give them a call and, and let them know Well, we're working on. through that now. Okay. You need anything for me, I'm then? good, man. All right. Have a great Thank day. You. Appreciate it. Yeah, no, no worries. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's terrific. My boss is firing me in a very public way, apparently. Karen relabeling shrimp that was expired and I tried to investigate it and next thing you know I was suspended. What really happened? What happened? You promoted someone who had no business being in that position I and every care. fucking thought... day that I worked there I tried to fix the problems that she wouldn't fix, that you wouldn't fix, and that Kit wouldn't fix. And after being here for 10 fucking hours one morning, I raised my voice in the office in an argument. I'll stand out here and talk to you, but not if you're going to... Um, I mean, that's what happened. What What do you think happened? I don't, I, I'm not going to think anything. I'm, I, that's not how I'm going to... I don't do that. I don't think... I'm not going to say I think this happened or I think that happened. But then what... I don't know what happened, Kenny. Talk to, you got to talk to Zach. I, unfortunately, I don't... But I mean, I, I, as far as I knew, you know, last, last time I talked to you was the morning of PCR. Yes. Right? And everything seemed okay, but I haven't said. That, yeah, everything seemed fine. That was three days after the incident. What incident? Was there an incident when we were, I'm assuming this is the argument we had in the office, which I thought was a safe space for employees. Not with me, I wasn't. No, but I was in the office on Saturday. I raised my voice and so did Karen. And then next thing you know, I'm suspended and no one will tell me why. Yeah, I mean, I'll reach out to Zach as well, but... I'm Please? Gonna... I'm so glad I've started a list keeping track of spoils that are coming up. When no one even bothers to look at it on my day off. Let's see. Oh, geez, it's expired. If only there was some way to have known that. What does his email say? It, his email says you were fired for violation of Sprout's policy. We wish you the best of luck in your endeavors. Did he interview you? No. He never talked to you. He talked to me on the day he suspended me. Oh. 
Yeah, he asked me what was going on and if I felt suicidal, and I said no, that I made a joke to Alan about that. I don't know. Apparently, that was they were worried that I was suicidal. Next thing you know, they leave me on suspension for 10 days, and then Kit calls me and fires me and says he doesn't know why. If you show me the email, I'll reach out to them. Hey, I'll show you the email right now. We have four cases of this corn. One just came in a few weeks ago. And I just, I got nowhere to put anything. And she ordered exactly one case of chicken and no Alfredo sauce. But I have no problem having a conversation with you in person. You're a human being. I appreciate being labeled as a human being for the first time in this entire <laughs> endeavor. They left me through the holidays without telling me why I was suspended, what was going on, and then I was fired without, literally without cause. I bust my butt to try to get this department in some sort of a decent shape, and then every time a load comes in, she puts all the stuff. Just where it's just stacked there. There's no dates on anything that came in this last load. With PCR coming? Really? Upon review of our investigation, separation was concluded due to the violation of company policy. We wish you the best of luck. And then I wrote back to him and I got an auto, repl an auto reply. So... So now I'm supposed to dig through this to see what came in yesterday so I can put dates on it because the manager didn't bother doing it. I mean, a reason would be nice. Not reply. And then he didn't reply after that? No, I got his, I, I sent him a reply and then I got an auto reply saying he's out of the office. My reply is, is this some sort of elaborate joke? What company policy did I violate? Question mark. Sincerely, Seth. And then I, and, and I reached out to HR, put in a ticket and she wrote back that they have no information and I should contact store management. I have the same incident as well. You know, unfortunately, I wasn't here. I, so I, I get that you weren't here, but I would like to be told the incident specifically. Well, I mean, I, I think I'm not sure that that's necessarily required. I, I'm not saying I'm not saying it should it should be this way or it should be that way, but so I so you not, no one's going to tell me what I did to get fired. I'll reach out. Kenny, I get that you like Karen because she does what you tell her to but she's bad at her job. And if you don't know she's bad at her job, you're bad at your job. Please, I appreciate it, Kenny. I've always been, I mean, you're the reason I didn't go looking for another job because I felt, you know, like we had something going here and it was, that island looks like shit today. You too. I think your direction is to keep doing what you're doing. We're doing what's right, fire team help you support them and uh you know first and foremost we're checking in and seeing how you're doing first of all i'm fine doing all right yeah i'm okay uh, yeah so again we we had those concerns reported and then of course just some some overall just i guess some signs in the store that we just make sure you know first of all you're okay um and making sure that we've got a good uh place on our team uh across the board here and so uh, what I'd like to do, I'd like to first of all offer you, do you have a pen and paper by chance? Uh, give me a second, hold on. Sure. Okay. So, this, the number I'm going to give you is our employee assistance program number. So, this, this resource has a ton of different uh, available resources that are out there. Um, help support team members through various uh, little things that, uh, that are very beneficial. So this number is 1-800-327-5555. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. So, and they're open 365 days a year. Uh, 24 hours are a great, awesome resource. want to make sure that you have that available uh, for you. Uh, while while we're while we're working through this particular process, um, we are going to ask that, uh, that you remain out of the store until further notice. What? So we just want to make sure that. Mm -hmm. What do you mean remain right, out yeah, of the so, store? You know, yeah, so we're going to remain out of the store while we're you know looking and evaluating just kind of overall well-being for you. We'll make sure that you're in a good spot and uh, trying to help support 
with that process, um, but the EAP line is going to be an important resource for you. And am I getting paid for these days? So this is going to be unpaid. Unpaid? This time. Uh, so this is, this is to help my well-being. I'm being suspended without pay. Just to be clear? Well, we are we're placing you out of the store until further notice. That's correct. Am I fired? No, that's not what's taking place right now. Uh, but we, you know, we are. We want to make sure that we evaluate everything that's been brought to our attention and making sure. That what do you think? Okay. Okay. So did you, you know, make comments about suicide? Is that something that you've had some? Of or with the floor? No. No? Okay. I made one comment to a manager that I was going out of my mind at how difficult things were trying to keep up with my bills, which you just made fucking impossible by suspending me. That makes it a little difficult to pay my bills. You're, here, you're, you're, you're trying to help me, correct? Definitely, I think the EAP is going to be a critical resource for you. What is? Especially during this challenging time here. It's only a challenging time because you're not letting me go to work. <laughs> and you're not paying yeah, me. Yeah, we're obviously concerned. Yeah, we're concerned. With my the, uh, entire uh, problem uh, was that I can't pay my bills. That was the crux of my frustration. Okay. I may have chosen my words wrong by invoking suicide, but I was pretty having a hard time paying my bills, and now you're not letting me go to work. Gotcha. understand. Do you? <laughs> Unpaid leave? For someone who's having a tr hard time paying their bills? Are you kidding me right now? Yeah. For how long? Well, I'll just be very transparent. Yeah. No, I'd like some transparency. Yeah, yeah, so just evaluating some of the, you know, concerns we've had in the store, just not only this, but some of the behavior that's been conducted in the store as well, too, and that's what we're looking at all together. Oh, uh, so there's more to it. Because you keep saying transparent, but now we're getting to it. So what's the problem at the store? Yeah, so uh, there's been some behavior that's been conducted that we've had, you know, we're evaluating and have some concerns with. Um, just with Can you hold on just one second? Kind of could you hold on a second, please? Oh, go ahead. Yeah, hold on just one second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, okay, so what conduct specifically? So, no, we're just evaluating uh, everything in the store. You keep saying that. Can you please tell me what conduct you're on the phone with loss prevention and me about? Conduct in the store? Such as? I am going to ask, is this conversation being recorded? It is. Okay. Well, we don't conduct our recording, so we don't adhere to this. You're not, a, you're not, so I have to shut off my recording? No, uh, we don't. I don't support the recording. Okay. So if this is being recorded, then this will end. Okay, well, I'll have, let me shut off the recording. Hold on. Okay, it's off. You heard it shut off. So, okay. so again, I want to go back to what we previously said. I want to make sure that you're doing okay. I really strongly suggest Contact the Okay, you've now that. said that three times, sir. Can you tell me? You mentioned about different things with your... Oh, okay, go ahead, sorry. Yeah, no, I mean, what conduct in the store has been a problem? Mm -hmm. So, specifically, uh, I'll share that uh, I guess there have been some conversations you had with kids in the office and maybe raising your tone of voice. Um, just, you know, raising, being loud in the store, causing disruption in the work environment. Um, but again, the main focus of this is specifically around uh, the comment of suicide. That is our main focus, and so we want to make sure that you're okay prior to any return. But, but prior to you firing me, you want to make sure I'm okay? Is that what, what's happening here? No, we're going to evaluate the situation, sir. Okay, well, do I get to give my side of it, or how does that work? Yeah, your side of your comment? Yeah, absolutely. And then you said you were having a hard time with paying your bills, and that's why... Well, I, 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 and um, 
trying to run a deli department with a manager who refuses to throw away expired food and who I caught changing the dates on shrimp so she could sell it when it was six days expired. So it's very frustrating to try to go into a night shift, completely change my whole day and night schedule around and then have to deal with a manager who's constantly putting our customers' lives at risk. So that's my frustration level. Okay. So is that is that why you were asking, you know, kid essentially to fire you? Is that where that frustration was coming from when you're on your knees and asking him asking yourself to be fired? Is that Yeah, because he won't ration that behavior. Well, because I have a department manager who can't run a department and I'm trying to do her job and my job and keep our customers from getting ill. And Kit turns the other way and doesn't do anything about it. That makes it very difficult okay. to do my job, and I think my job is to keep our customers from eating expired food, whereas the manager is trying to save sh her shrink percentage, so she's serving expired food. And when I go to Kit, he says he'll take care of it over and over and over again, and he doesn't do a thing about it. So those are my frustration levels. That not being able to pay my bills, which I guess do I file unemployment now? How am I supposed to pay the bills that are coming up? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. You, if you have any sick of vacation time, that obviously can be utilized. Um, how, how how do I utilize that uh, if I can't go in the store? You can you can call them and have them out of there. They. Add it to to this last the final. This is going to be my final paycheck. Is that what's happening? <laughs> that I, I do not know. That I can't give. I, I don't know the answer to that. Well, who who's making that decision? Because I, I so we're you know like I said. Yeah. Well, I mean, I I tried to reach out to Melanie about the problems with the manager not following dates and serving expired food, and I was specifically told by Kenny not to reach out to her, and then he came down with COVID or had to take a COVID leave. So I'm waiting the two weeks to try to talk to him as I'm documenting the evidence of her serving expired food to people, which I think is a little more serious than me joking to Kit that I wanted him to fire me. I mean, it was a joke, okay. obviously. Well, I think that he, yeah, well, you know, if it was obviously a joke, you know, and that's that's a challenging part when it comes to jokes. It depends on, you know, the individual that's around at the time. And obviously we take threats of suicide extremely seriously. Um, we don't want to ever, you know, take that for granted or not take action to make sure that we have provided resources for the team member. Um, for My resources time. is so, I need to go to work and make, <laughs> and make a living. <laughs> Gotcha. Yeah, and that EAP line. Uh, I I don't. I'm not calling the EAP system. line. I need to get my job okay. secured. I I I'm the okay. e, I don't. What are they going to be able to get me to go to work tonight? Because I'm supposed to work tonight. No. Then no, will, I, then what is yeah, EAP uh, going to do for me? Have you out of the store and tell further notice. Say it again. So w what are they going to provide for me? Okay. Yeah. There's a there's a bunch of different resources, a lot of resources that Employee Assistance Program provides. Uh, everything from resources from counseling to uh, financial support, uh, many different resources they have available for them. Great. But so right now, uh, on that, go ahead. No, I mean, what, what else? So what else are we doing here? Yeah. Well, and that's it. So again, uh, we'll be in contact with you uh, once we've evaluated everything and We'll touch base with you on any next steps, okay? But what, I mean, what, I, I, so is that the extent of why I'm being suspended is because I joked with Kit about wanting to be fired and I told someone I thought I was, that I thought was my friend off work completely in a private conversation that 
I was depressed and, and felt suicidal because I couldn't pay my bills? That's the extent of what this is, or is there more? Yeah, so when you, when you, inform, when you form a member of management, uh, they're required uh, to contact and inform us of those type of situations, uh, any and all. That's the way they should be informing any of us for something such as, you know, serious as that. I don't want to ever downplay anything that, uh, you know. But it's financially related. themselves or, I mean, it's. It, you keep saying that you're you're concerned about my well-being. I can't pay my bills if I don't go to work this week. Gotcha. And that's why I think it's so important to call the EAP line. Do they offer financial assistance? They have a, a many different resources. Absolutely, many different resources uh, of financial advice, uh, different dynamics and they have available financial assistance okay okay so that that's the end of this I can't, yeah i can't speak for everything they have they're all based on individual resources so if you call them uh, they'll have a little different options and availability and what's the time frame for finding out if i'm fired for being depressed because i couldn't pay my bills and my manager won't follow basic protocols and that's what we'll follow, you know, we'll follow up with you as soon as that's done. I don't want to put a set time frame on it because we want to evaluate it and look through this thoroughly. Um, through that process. Well, um, do I get to, if you're, do I get to put a written, help? can I get to put a written statement in? I mean, you're I. You're more than welcome to put a written, if you have a written statement regarding, um, you know, any behavior in the workplace that may have, you know, cause of concern, you're absolutely can can explain that and you have every right to do that. And where do I where do I send that? You have a you have still have a pen and paper? I'm ready I'm ready when you are. Okay. You can send that to Zachary Z A C H A R Y and Sapata S A T as in Paul A T as in Tom A at Sprouts.com. So it's all together, Zachary Sapata at Sprout.com. Okay. Z A C A. Let me make sure I got the get this right. Z A C H A R Y S A P A T A at Sprouts.com. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. And you said that. Yeah. Anything that's. That's you, correct? Yeah. If you have anything to say about that's correct. That's myself. Okay. Uh, yeah. If you have anything to say about, um, you know conduct behavior in the store, the, um, you know, what was done in the office, the reason of your voice, the comment of suicide, all those things there, the, the reasons why you're doing those things and, uh, and that, um, we, yeah, absolutely, you can definitely send me all the information about, you know, why that's taking place and um, what you're doing to better yourself and uh, put yourself in a good in a good spot for your overall well-being. So, just uh, to... Hey, also, Andy, can I... Go ahead, Willis. Hey, can you add me to that email, too? Yeah, well, what's, what's your email? I, I can barely hear you. You're going to have to speak up. Willie, W-I-L-L-I-E. Uh-huh. And the last name, James, J-A-M-E-S. Okay. Uh, uh, and that's at Sprouts.com as well. And you're the one from loss prevention, correct? Loss prevention, correct. And why, I'm just curious why loss prevention is, is, is part of this, is that just regular policy, or it, I'm not being accused of stealing anything, am I? Anytime that any, any such incidents take place or happen in the workplace, mm-hmm. um, it's the loss prevention that we involved in all of those in, uh, incidents. Okay. Well, I will, uh... Especially the team, especially the team of the jail being. Especially what? I'm sorry? Okay. Okay. Well, I guess I, since I just woke up to go to work, uh, I guess I will be up all night writing this letter to you, gentlemen. And uh, we'll, we'll go. Yeah, look for it. Um, yeah. And again, we'll be in contact with you as soon as uh, we look through everything. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Very, you know, very transparent with you, sir, and, uh, and I'll be very, you know, 
very transparent with you, sir, and, uh, and I'll be very, you know, very transparent with you, sir, and, uh, and I'll be very, you know, very transparent with you, sir, and, uh, and I'll be very, you know, very transparent with you, sir. And... Just to be clear, I'm not wearing a mask while we shoot this video because I'm six feet away from the other people in the room and I will not compromise the safety of my colleagues for anything. Like the rest of you, I just want to get back to normal where we can spend time with our families and friends without worrying about the pandemic. We all have COVID fatigue. I've had the opportunity of talking with many of you in my store visits recently, and I know it is difficult for all of you. It seems like the vaccine trials are going well, and that should give us some confidence that there is light at the end of this very long tunnel. But my message today is that we cannot compromise on the protocols that we have been working on throughout this pandemic. COVID cases are rising across the country, and that means being diligent with our safety protocols is critical. 